Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson one. And in this lesson, students are gonna be practicing addition and kind of like subtraction, but they're really gonna be focusing on two kinds of uh, problems. where uh, One, where they're gonna be comparing uh, with the difference unknown and one where they're going to be comparing with the change unknown. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in the next slide, so let's get started. All right, so what do I mean? Um, so taken from the, oh, what is it called? I guess like the Common Core website. If you go to the Common Core website and Google Common Core Math, you'll find it. Uh, but this is in the glossary. This is table one in that glossary of our standards. And uh, this is showing all the different kinds of addition and subtraction questions. Man, they're not all the same. And, and there's, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 different kinds of addition and subtraction problems that we really need to expose our students to. Um, and so addition and subtraction is far more complicated than just addition and subtraction. There's a lot of different kinds of addition and a lot of different kinds of subtraction problems. So uh, in this lesson, we're going to be focusing on change unknown. So add to with change unknown right there. And we're going to be focusing on comparing with the difference unknown. So these are the two um, types of problems that this lesson is really going to be focusing on. And we're going to do it uh, in the context of word problems because that's really where students develop meaning is when it, they're, they have a chance at attaching some sort of context to it. So uh, we are going to use tape diagrams. So parents and teachers, if you're not sure what a tape diagram is, don't freak out. I'm going to show you a bunch of them. And the idea is uh, there is no one perfect exa uh, exact co uh, version of a number of a tape diagram for any given problem. There's a lot of flexibility and that's okay. So embrace the flexibility. You don't have to worry about drawing the right one. So Fran donated 11 of her old books to the library. Darnell donated eight of his old books to the library. How many more books did Fran donate than Darnell? So the idea is oftentimes we imagine, uh, we first read the question and what I like to do is I like to think about what is my sentence, my answer sentence going to be? How many more books did Fran donate than Darnell? So the idea is I'm going to want to try and write my answer sentence, um, answer statement with a blank. So I'm going to say Fran donated blank more than Darnell. So there's my answer sentence. I like to come up with my answer statement with a blank right there. That helps students know, well, what are they trying to do? What are they trying to answer? And then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to read the question again, and I'm going to notice that we have two characters, Fran and Darnell. So I'm going to draw both Fran and Darnell, and I'm going to draw them identical. Fran and Darnell, all right? As close as I could, I made them identical. And then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to read the sentence again, but I'm going to tweak these tape diagrams to really match the, the question. So I'm going to go back, and it says, Fran donated 11 of her old books to the library. So I know that this bar right here represents 11. So I'm going to draw and 11 right there. And then I'm going to go back and it says, I'm going to read again the sentence. And now this one says, Darnell donated eight of his old books to the library. Well, that means Darnell's tape has to be a little bit smaller than uh, Fran's tape diagram. And that's eight right there. So notice how I kind of cut all this off. And so now we have eight. So Darnell's tape is a little bit shorter than Fran's tape. All right. And then I'm going to go back and read where we are. Okay, now it says, how many more books did Fran donate? So I'm looking for this distance right here. 
So that little thing right here is our question mark. Really, I think a better place would have been to put it down there. Okay, so what am I going to do? A couple of ways to solve this. I could think of it as 8 bl plus blank equals 11. Or I could think of it as 11 minus 8 equals blank. And of course, either way, we're going to get the answer of 3. Now, parents and teachers, it's up to you to let your students think, uh, decide whether they're going to think of it as an addition problem or a subtraction problem. They both, of course, work. The idea is, for this lesson, is we're going to be practicing drawing our tape diagrams. Uh, so I'm going to focus for the remaining videos, or slides, uh, drawing the picture and less on the math. So here it says, during recess, seven students were reading books. There were 17 students playing on the playground. How many fewer students were reading books than playing on the playground? So the sentence, that the answer statement is there were blank fewer students reading reading than playing. All right, so there is my answer sentence. There were blank fewer students reading than playing. So now I'm going to go back and now that I've I've written my answer statement with a blank, now I'm going to go back and read the question again. I'm going to look for the characters in this story, all right? The previous one it was like Fran and Darnell. Now who are my characters here? Well, it says during recess, we have 7 students were reading books and there were 17 students playing on the playground. So my characters in this, so to speak, was we've got reading books and we've got playing. So we've our two characters are reading books and playing on the playground. So we could do PP for playing on the playground. Reading books and playing on the playground. So now we're going to go back and we're going to start by giving each one of them the exact same tape. You know, I generally always start with giving them the exact same tape and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question and modify the tapes as necessary. So it says during recess seven students were reading books. So that means this tape right here is our seven. So there's our seven. And then I'm going to go back and then it's read the next sentence which is there were 17 students playing on the playground. So that means this tape actually needs to be a little bit longer. And it doesn't matter if it's proportional parents and teachers, so we don't have to be all perfect. All right? it, we just know it needs to be longer, and we know that that length is supposed to be 17. All right? So that means this piece right here, because remember we originally drew them at the exact same length, so that means this piece right here is also 7. Right here is 7. I don't know why I, I drew the 7 twice. You guys can deal with it. So this is 7, and this is 7, and this whole thing is 17. Now the question is, how many fewer students were reading books than playing on the playground? So the question is, what is this piece right here? Because we could think of it in terms of the... Re, um, students reading books and we could say well they have this missing piece right here see that and so the question is what's that question mark um, and so what are the ways we could do it well we could say we could think of it as 7 plus what gives us 17 so one way we could think of it is 7 plus what gives us 17? Or another way we could think of it is 17 minus 7 gives us our missing value. And of course we know the answer is 10. But the big thing, parents and teachers, is drawing that tape diagram. Parents and teachers, that's the focus on this lesson. 
Maria is 18. Her brother, Nikhil, is 12. How much older is Maria than her brother, Nikhil? So my answer statement, Maria is blank years older. There's my, and if I, if I wanted to, I could put then Nikhil. All right, there's my answer sentence with the, uh, a blank space right here. So now, what are our, who are our two characters? Well, we can, this one's pretty straightforward. It's Maria and Nikhil, and we're going to give them both the exact same tape. And those are supposed to look the same. And then we're going to go back and read the question. So it says Maria is 18 years old. So that's pretty straightforward. That means this tape right here is 18. It says her brother, Nikhil, is 12. So that means our tape here for Nikhil has to be a little bit shorter. So let's make it a little bit shorter because we know that 12 is less than 18. So I'm going to chop off this piece and I'm going to make it there, and we know that Nikhil is 12. All right, and so then it says, so parents and teachers, look, look at the idea. The idea is it's okay to draw the question, draw the model incorrect, because in the act of then kind of like in quotations fixing it, it actually shows us the subtraction, right? This is the answer that we're looking for. So it says, how much older is Maria than her brother Nikhil? So that means this piece is the thing that we're looking for right here, all right? And so by intentionally making the bars, the tape diagrams, the same length, it actually is going to help us <laughs> draw where the answer that we're looking for is, which in this case is right here. And of course, there's a couple of ways we could see it we could say it's 12 plus what gives us 18, or we could think of it as 18 minus 12 equals what? And of course, we know the answer is 6. And the last one, it rained 15 days in the month of March. It rained 19 days in April. How many more days did it rain in April than March? So what is our answer statement? It rained... It rained blank days more in April. All right. It rained blank days more in April. All right. So now we're going to go back and we're going to read our question. Who are our characters? So we've made our answer. Whoa. <laughs> we've made our answer statement. Now we're going to go and read the question again to find out who are our characters, and in this case, our characters are March and April. And so I'm going to label it M and A, and I'm going to give them both the exact same tape length, March and April. Now I'm going to go back and read the question again and modify our tapes as necessary. So it says, it rained 15 days in the month of March. So that means this tape right here represents 15. And then the next sentence says, it rained 19 days in April. Uh-oh, that means I need to extend April a little bit because this whole thing here is supposed to be 19. Now remember, I started by drawing the exact same tape diagram. So this portion right here is also 15. So the question is, how many more days did it rain in April? So they're saying, what's this length right here? What's this distance right there? So a couple of ways we could think of it. We could think of it as 15 plus what equals 19? Or we could think of it as 19 minus 15 equals blank. In either case, we know that the answer is going to be 4. And that wraps up really a surprisingly complicated one for first graders. It's first grade, module 6, lesson 1. We're using those tape diagrams 
to solve two different kinds of addition and subtraction problems.